behind the wall too many times. Trying to get it right, but I know it takes time. So I'm right now, they Look, think I'm the man. man. They put me on the the band again, huh? I was like, like fuck it. I'll take the little hit on the chin. You know? I just be cool and trying to get cooler, like little bro said. If this shit fall through, we we'll never be fucked up again. Sincere Shaw, shout out to my homie. Sex, money, and how values, we back at it. We are no longer going by Health, Wealth, and Sex podcast. We have the same perspective, just a different, hmm, just a different alias, just a different foundation that we basing it on. Just something more intermediate with the audience that we have, abundance within YouTube. On today's video, we're going to go back to the roots of where my videos begun. Not to say I was leaving from that from where I originally rooted from. No, I was just spreading my branches to see where the fruit was gonna drop from. If y'all catch my drift. <clears throat> yes sir, we got homework. Say, what's this man? Hmm. It's a personal assessment application or better, um, yeah, um, better known as a PAA. So what the hell is a PAA? A personal assessment application. These are nah something that you probably never gonna get. And if you do get it, it's gonna be from somebody that's in a corporate business that it has their own business. So they have their own motto of how they want to interview or screen people that want to get a job with them. We ain't going to go through everything today. I'm going to break it up for everybody to see how the video does. So if you do like this video or find interest in this video at any point in time, please do go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. We appreciate it. Of course, all applications come with the basic name. But after that, we say, what are your primary skill sets? A lot of people don't know what their skill sets are. And a lot of people want to, a lot of people will get on social media and pretend like they know what they're doing in a particular area or quote unquote say that's what they are good at doing. But in real life, the people that really know them they not they don't actually see that person doing those things that they actually say that they're good at. So skill set. It can be two to three things. It could be one thing that you are really good at. It could be a variety of things that you are good at. It's all about how much do you actually want to know yourself. It's a personal assessment application. Next thing will be goals. What is a person's goals? What are your goals? What are your goals as far as what do you see yourself in the near future? We're not even going to say years, just the near future. As we see, the future is coming towards us like a freight train. And another one is motivation. Who gives you motivation in your life right now to do the thing that you want to do or the thing that you feel like you always want to do or things that you are passionate about? Do you have any motivation? A lot of us these days don't have a lot of motivation. A lot of people don't have the people around them that support the thing that they actually want to do, quote unquote, our dreams or things that we felt like we always wanted to do or something that we just really desire to accomplish. We don't really get the motivation 
from the people around us. If we get to that point where we're able to do it, then we'll get the support and the notoriety from it, but we don't get the motivation from... We don't get the motivation beforehand to basically continue to thrust us forward. Date of birth, of course. Yeah, years of knowledge. They say, damn, what years of knowledge of what? How long do you think you've been knowing anything that's relevant from stuff that you have not learned your whole life? That's what I mean, years of knowledge. Some people will say, oh, I've been... Years of knowledge could be their whole life. If that's how you want to see um see your years of knowledge, then so be it. You know, I'm 28. I don't believe I have 28 years of knowledge. I believe I have between six to eight years of knowledge. And that's what growing wisdom, trials and tribulations, errors, failures, had to get back up, brush yourself off and try it again. Close friends. Do you have any close friends that you feel will actually support you and go through with different ideas and different business systems that you may be able to implement or present um, to them in the time in a timely fashion? Everything ain't for everybody, and everything ain't meant to be on a certain time length or a time frame shall I say the next thing is someone that believes in you it goes back to close friend uh, this could be somewhere in your family this don't have to be a friend family it don't have to be family or friends it could be somebody that's outside of a family or friend somebody that just sees or sees you and see that you have potential and we're willing to Put not only faith down into you, but um, actual resources or tangible items to see you succeed in a higher fashion. We're going to go to the first one. There's three different categories in this um, personal assessment application that myself created. Yes, sir. We just went through the brief information portion of it. Three stages of the personal application, personal assessment application is, are, I mean, you will have to fill out all three of them, but more specific, um, specifically, people will find themselves more in one or one of the other of the three, which is the number one, um, the first one is finder. The second one is closer. And the second, I mean, the third one is developer. Now, these are more business oriented, but it's also I mean, nah, it ain't no also. It's just it's business oriented. Because no matter if you run your own business or if you work for somebody else. Or if you have a career or if you maintain in some type of financial um, stability or if you're trying to grab hold grab um, grab hold of your financial stability you will need to pinpoint yourself in one of these and I will say this is the reason why a lot of people don't understand um, who they are in the financial world. They know who they, a lot of people know who they are as far as just being human, but do you know who you are as a position in a business? Are you a finder? Are you a closer? Are you a developer? If you can represent either one of these traits, Within a business setting or a networking setting, you your chances of being able to solidify deals or more clientele will uh, increase dramatically. The first one is Finder. Like I said, we ain't going to go through all three of them in this sitting. 
Visionary within the finder. Visionary. Are you a visionary? They say, hold on. I don't know what is, what is a visionary. How far in the future do you see yourself? That'll tell you a lot. So if you say, um, are, do you see yourself? Where do you see yourself in five years? If you don't know where you see yourself at in five years, you damn sure ain't going to be able to tell nobody else where you see the world as a whole or as a specific group of people in a certain genre of the financial market. You're not going to know where they're, where that's going to be at in five years because you don't even know where yourself is going to be at in five years. So are you a visionary? So if you can say, dang, I might not be a visionary, that's okay. Everybody is not a visionary, but everybody knows somebody that's a visionary that then always had that intuition that said, dang, I, I seem like this is going to be a, a trend sometime. And now we have these things on social media where people are setting these trends. These are not visionaries. These are people that are accidentally falling into categories and they don't know how to actually benefit once they do accidentally stumble upon the um, a visionary point of time in their life. <clears throat> expansion. You say, well, damn, what, what is expansion? Expansion. Are you willing to expand out of your own comfort zone to be able to accomplish bigger and better goals? People say, hell yeah, I'm willing. Hell yeah. If I got, to, um, got some shit for some money. Okay, cool. That's the easy part. Now, are you willing to expand out of your comfort zone into the dark, into the unknown, and risk your financial stability for the um, for whatever you have at that moment? That's what expansion is. So if you're willing to go into the dark, into the unknown, to explore new avenues and to be able to engage in new opportunities that may or may not be as lucrative as what you come from. So if you're willing to expand not only your mind, but your comfort, um, your comfortability to be able to go outside of where you, um, outside of your own normal, then you may be, you may have a expansion mindset or type or trait. All these are traits and skills and attributes, just like we have in 2K, um, all the 2K franchise games. Yes, sir. The next one we have on here is finance. They said, hold on, uh-oh, I know a little bit about money. So what do we know about money? Do we know that money actually does grow from trees? I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to break that down. Then I'm going to jump to the next. Do we, we would all, what, I can't say we would all. I heard through my people that money does not grow on trees. And if anybody that, if you actually get to watch this video and you get to this point, please leave a comment in the section. And let me know if you heard any of your relatives or people close to you tell you that money does not grow on trees. But in reality, if I grow a tree that says, uh, if I grow an apple tree, I can make money from that tree. So the saying money doesn't grow from trees is an absolute lie when they are literally selling us all the fruits and vegetables that grow from trees and making money from it. So the saying that we had, money don't grow from trees, we come from a, fi well, I come from a financially illiterate background where they didn't understand the process of finances and the process of, in which the stuff that they buying is the same stuff that you could be doing to sell to other people. So if you're not aware of your finances and the stuff that's around us, 
and the stuff, the tangible stuff that we do indulge in. Everything that we indulge in at this point is tangible. If you don't know what tangible means, tangible is something that you can grab, something that is in reach, something that is of value, something that is a not only um, is it tangible, is it not only is it is, is it in reach, but you can not only is it also valuable, but you can barter it, you can trade it, you can sell it. It's, it still has value to it once you obtain it. A lot of things start to lose value soon, af um, soon after we buy it. Just like you can't buy a whole bunch of food from the grocery store and then expect to take it all back and get all of exactly your money back and let all of it spoil. But in reality, you know, that's not never really going to happen. You're going to just buy a whole bunch of expired type food. I'm going to leave that where it's at. And for the now, um, last one for this video, under the finder selection, the information of now. What information do you have of the now? You say, what are you talking about, man? Why do I need information of the now? All this, all those are under that one archetype finder. So the archetype one is finder. We had visionary, expansion, finance, and now on the last one, the information of now. What does the information of now mean? How savvy, how in tune are you with stuff that's going on around you? Not in your neighborhood, not what's in your comfortability zone. See, exactly. So if you're not an expansion thinker, you won't have any information of the now because you only understand or you only look for it. news or information that goes on around your comfortability. So that so you're basically trying to ensure that you still can um, that you still can be comfortable. That's why you don't know anything outside of your comfortability because if you start to know, um, know anything outside of your comfortability, the more uncomfortable you feel because the more you know, the more you realize that, hold on, I'm becoming into a smaller and smaller bubble because the more I know, so I know it's more harm out here than good. So that's why I said, if you don't have any information of the now, that means you don't want to. That means you're living in your own bubble of comfort and the information that you get in that bu uh, bubble of comfort is only to um, solidify and make you more comfortable. So then you will never be a visionary. You will never be a finder. You will never know, actually know about finances because you so only enwrapped in your comfort um, com comfort zone, regardless of um, whether it be financially, security-wise, pleasure-wise, entertainment-wise, um, Family wise, all of those excuses is just in a, com um, a comfort zone of I don't want to know anything outside of that unless it's hurting anything that um, of those things I just named. It's been real. <clears throat> it's, a bo it's your boy to Dante. And yes, sir, we will be back with part two. We're going to finish it out with the closer and the developer. And like I said at the beginning of the video. We got the same perspective, just a different outlook or a different alias, a.k.a. sex, money, and high values. And we out.